Okay, this is what it looks like when you take off the head off of a GY6150. He slide it off those bolts. Right there is where the tensioner for the timing chain goes in that hole. Okay. This was the old valve. Just changing it out and putting new ones in. The new ones look like this. You want to make sure this edge mates nicely with the aluminum on the head. So I'm just putting a little bit of valve grinding compound on here. And what I did is I just glued this on here with some hot melt glue. And I'll show you how it goes. Like this. Lift it up. You just keep doing that until you see a nice band, which I'm seeing now. It's about 3.30 seconds of an inch wide, 16th, and this should have the same. Yep. When they, when they both match, then I'm going to switch over to this to finish it off. And then you want to make sure you clean all that residue out of there. WD-40, just flush it through, well, wipe it out first, and then you want to flush it with WD-40. You don't want anything getting on here, because if it does, you'll, it'll eat the shaft up when, it, when the engine's running. Going up and down like that, it'll just chew it up. But you have to do this, and it's, it's really simple to do. Just do what I did, hot melt glue a pen on there. Go down. Lift it up every so often, because it redistributes the silicon carbide uh, grinding compound. You hear the sound change. This is what that side looks like. Alright. That's the inside right here. This keeper, this uh, oil seal, I'm going to pull that off. I got new ones for that too. This is fine, smooth, just a little bit, a little worn looking, but it's alright. Keep going. Take a little bit like this. Just add a little bit on the edge. That's all you need, not much. Push it back in. Go. That's it. Simple process. Alright, that's the finished product after you're done grinding it. If you'll notice right here, you see this nice band that goes from there to there, all the way around? That matches the bevel of the valve now. And that's what you want to see is that band. Now I'm going to do the fine polishing compound and do this one. Flush everything out with WD-40, wipe it dry and put everything back together. Two valves are in. Perfectly. That's the intake. That's the other side. You can see the exhaust down there, the discoloration as the exhaust. Check the whole head. There's no cracks or anything in it. That. Two new valves, perfectly seated. Alright, this is how you remove the oil seal. Just pop it off the bottom like this carefully. Here it goes. Very gently just pry it off without damaging anything. It's out. It sits right on there. It's garbage. Here's a ring. A washer here. Should come off. 
Come on, washer. There it is. Old washer. Let's wipe that down nice and clean. New washer. Perfect. Put a little bit of oil on here. I get it to come out. Hello, there we go. All right, put a little bit. In. This is the new seal. Right here. Just want to push it in until it pops. There it is. It's on. Just push it down all the way. Drop of oil inside of it. It's looking good. this. All right, I'm going to do is put a little bit of oil in here. It's good. Here's the valve that I did the edge on. Make sure you remove all the residue from the valve grinding compound. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. Nice fit. Some people just buy the new valves and just drop them in. It's not exactly the greatest because the shape of the valve does not match exactly to the the bevel on the head. Always want to grind them. Okay. Turn it around like this. Gonna shove a rag here to keep the valve from pushing down. Okay, like that. You can see that right there. Camera on. Okay, one spring over. Next one over. You want to put the retainer in the ring that holds it. That's one key. Two. Now you have to push this down hard, and then you got to push those keys into position on the shaft. So I'm going to have to take the camera way to do this, but it's not exactly easy. I need two people to do it. Push down while somebody pushes the keys in. Okay. 